Welcome to the 12th episode of my tutorial series on the AVR framework. In this episode, I want to cover the controllers. Currently, the framework contains four controllers, which are a combination of uh, seven motion components. And to show the controllers off, it's best up to head right into VR and to show them. Inside VR, we can see that we already have our first controller in place. This is a single laser controller. Is three functionalities. It can hover over objects to highlight them. It can select objects using the trigger button, and it can pick up objects. While picking up objects, we can all also have two different uh, rotation types. One is rotate all. The other one scale and push it further away. And the third one is the one that is default is rotate on on the z-axis and push it further away and get it closer and uh, to switch between the different um, controllers we have to go into our menu there we have the controller tab and there we can see that we have multiple controls to choose from the first one i've just demonstrated the double laser is basically the same one where we can pick up objects with two lasers and we can interact with everything just like it was the one laser it's just that we have now two lasers available to us the third one i really really like which is the hands with the hands we can also pick up objects it, uh, these objects also get highlighted and uh, the neat thing is that the object snapping lets our object really fit into hands so we, we can define spots where we can actually grip onto and these uh, let them have a very very nice feel same with for example the vase that it'll always grab there if I grab it here and grab it here it'll always be there and um, if you want to interact with something using the hands we just use our pointing finger and press on something and then it'll interact with that. Uh, this also works for the palette, so if I point on the on the next element, it'll let me interact with that. The last one is, is a pointer, also something I really like. The pointer has is basically a very shortened laser, so we, we have to get a close up to interact with that, but it gives us a, a bit more control over everything, so we can uh, point on it and press the trigger button to, to select objects, and we can also pick up objects and rotate them in all directions. Okay, so let's hop out and let me show you how they work. So to understand how the motion controllers work, we should first go into um, the VR pawn and see what it actually does with that. So for that, go into framework on VR. And inside here, we can already see that we have a, a lot of button forwards that, is, uh, that are happening. So basically how the pawn VR works is it spawns a motion controller for the left and the right hand, depending on which one you have selected. And um, then it forwards all the buttons that are being pressed. So for example, the, the left grip button and the right grip button to the corresponding controllers. And the, con uh, the motion controllers will then handle the, the button input. So if we look at our motion controllers, they are being found in um, blueprints VR motion controllers. If we open the base motion controller, we can already see that um, uh, all the buttons are being handled here. So for example, if we take a look at the input phase one button, which is basically the A and the X button on the Oculus controller, we can see that if it's being pressed and we don't have a radio menu in place, then on the left side, it starts a direct movement and if it's being released on the left side, it stops its uh, direct movement. And if you're on the right controller, then it starts the teleportation. And on the, um, if we release it on the right controller, then it stops the teleportation. And for example, for the phase two button, which is the upper button on the Oculus uh, Rift controller, if you're on the Oculus HMD and we have a radio menu, then we want to despawn it. And if we don't have a radio menu, then we want to spawn it. So this is basically how the buttons input are being being used. And um, uh, basically, uh, the, the motion controllers, if you look at the 
in the laser motion controller, it consists of several motion components. So this is basically a very modular approach to creating your own motion controller. Um, we, in the double laser mode, we have four motion components, which is a teleporter component, which handles the teleportation, the movement component, which handles the movement, the controller mesh, which is just a visual representation of the VR controller. So this, for example, is uh, the Oculus, uh, the, the Steam VR controller. And we have, if we have the Oculus in place, then this controller mesh switches to the um, uh, Oculus controller. And then we have the laser uh, component, which handles all the gripping, the laser representation, and uh, the selecting over a distance. So this is basically the distinct functionality of the of uh, this motion controller. And if you want to take a look at another one, for example, the hands, the hands are quite similar in the sense that uh, it also has multiple motion con uh, components. Uh, remember, every uh, motion controller is built up of, out of different motion components. It has the teleportation, it has a movement, and it has the hands, which the hands are a, com a combined thing of a visual representation of the hand and uh, handling all the grip functionality and the pointing functionality. And uh, as a last look, let's take a look at the motion components. So we have seven motion components currently in place. Remember the motion components are being attached to the motion controller as, as we need it. So we can basically build up our own motion controller by just attaching and detaching uh, different motion components. So we have a very flexible uh, approach to creating a very modular um, motion component to a uh, motion controller to our actual needs. So currently we have uh, seven motion components. The controller, uh, which is the visual rep representation of the controller, the hands, which does all the hand functionality and um, is also a visual representation of the hand, the, the laser pointer, which is the remote laser, um, the movement component, which handles the direct movement, the pointer, which is a close, uh, close range laser, um, the radio menu, um, which uh, handles the radio menu button if we, if we spawn it, and the teleport component, which handles the uh, teleportation. And this is basically all that I wanted to be showing about the uh, VR controllers. And I hope you like this approach. I find it to be very successful into creating new content and creating new functionalities by just creating a motion controller and attaching it to the, uh, to, to the motion component, uh, creating a motion component and attaching it to the motion controller. So for example, if you want to um, create a wristband, I would create a wristband motion component and just attach it to the motion controller that I want to have in place. And yeah, so here I want to end this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode.